captain's log. We have been lost at sea for three months and our food is running low. Luckily, the mental health of the crew is still strong, except for the wooden octopus on the front of the ship who has become increasingly rude and rebellious. I might need to make an example of this octopus before I have a mutiny on my hands. I need to make a plan, but I can't concentrate. Not with that beautiful, mysterious song. Where is it? Where's it coming from? It's so ethereal, it hardly sounds human. But of course it must be. Unless... <gasps> a mermaid! Great Scott, I've discovered mermaids! Forget about disciplining the octopus, I'm gonna be famous! Hey, you! I'd like to invite you aboard my ship that is crashing. We are currently crashing, falling into the ocean. Uh-oh. Okay, that was quite unexpected. Where am I? And where did that mermaid go? She's probably never seen a human before. She might have been frightened by my lack of a tail. Oh, look, there's another one. A beautiful pink mermaid. And over there, there's some sort of door. It might be the entrance to the mermaid kingdom. Hello, no need to be afraid. I am but a friendly traveler. I don't think she's gonna come down on my level, so that's fine, this is her home, not mine. All right, my pals, if you think that I should cross these sea stars and enter the realm of mermaids, give this video a thumbs up right now. I wanna see if we can get this video to 10,000 likes, and if we can, then I think that I will be safe in the mermaid realm. What is that on the next sea star? It looks like some sort of magical pearl. Wow, so many wonders await us at the bottom of the sea. It looks like the mermaids have built their home in harmony with a coral reef, which is like a huge sleigh. Last chance to like this video before we enter the mermaid kingdom. Let's go, my pals. I don't know exactly what it was, but something about that mermaid song was so compelling, I just could not sail past. I have to know more. I have to find out who she is. But first, looks like I have to outmaneuver an army of seahorses. I can't tell if they're guarding something or if they're just going about their day like these schools of fishies. Either way, I'm gonna do my best not to touch them because I feel like it'd be pretty rude to just like invite myself into the realm of mermaids and then go disturb the wildlife. It's just not gonna make a good impression. But before I wander too far into the realm of mermaids, I have a pressing question that I need to ask the people. Do we think that the mermaid is good? Or is there a possibility that this mermaid might be a bit evil? Like the song was giving angelic, but the fact that I immediately crashed my boat Kinda sus. So cast your predictions now in the comment section. Put a happy face if you think that this mermaid is good and a devil emoji if you think that the mermaid might be evil. Oh my gosh, what? We've got crabs who appear to be having the best time ever at the underwater playground. Like, are these seesaws or? Yeah, oh my gosh, I think they are seesaws. I've also heard them called teeter-totters. I don't know, if you call them something else where you live, you can let me know in the comment section. I'm always curious. And remember to tell me if they are used by crabs. Turns out the crabs really hate it when you try to share their seesaw, so I'm moving on as soon as possible. And oh my gosh, look! <gasps> Are these the cutest stingrays I've ever seen in my entire life? Please, help me get to safety, my new friends. Below us, we have some seriously dangerous looking sea anemones. I don't know if it's currents in the water or what's going on, but they kind of look like they're charged with electricity and they look really dangerous. So I'm just gonna let my little stingray friend here help me to safety and into the next chamber. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, let's see if you can subscribe by the time I get out of this chamber. Do it right now, see if you can get it. Well done to everybody who got it. <gasps> Look, the mermaid. Follow me, she says. Wait, I'll try, but I don't have a fin. Bit weird to try to run underwater. Maybe I can swim this next bit. So the good news is I'm still a pretty good swimmer, but the bad news is that I have completely lost sight of our mermaid friend and I have no idea where she went. Also, as you may have noticed, I am dodging sharks. Like, obviously, I'm hoping that the sharks will not harm me if they believe that I am a guest of the mermaid realm. Am I supposed to swim into this coral trumpet-looking thing? And uh-oh, something's happening. <laughs> I think I'm being sucked up. Maybe this is like mermaid public transit. Incredibly efficient, getting me to my destination. And where am I now? Oh, wow, it's beautiful in here. <gasps> Look at those eels! Dang, all right. I knew it wasn't gonna be easy to find our mermaid friend, but I did know that I was gonna have to get past this many critters. But I am not afraid. And unfortunately, I will not be leaving the underwater palace until I get to Kiki with my new mermaid friends. Also, it's just occurring to me now that I did actually crash my ship, so I am in my shipwrecked era. I'm in a place of being stranded. I am not going anywhere. On the upside though, finding heaps of beautiful pearls. I hope I'm not stealing. Does it feel like I'm stealing from the mermaids? I've been thinking of it kind of like finding like a dollar on the sidewalk or something, like finders keepers vibes. But I am now realizing in this moment that possibly the pearls were put there for a reason and I'm just like this meanie Bellini who was broken into the realm of mermaids and just started helping myself to the pearls. 
Like, in my mind, I'm just here to make friends, but possibly I am doing some crimes, and this is probably how I keep ending up in prison. Uh, you guys okay? Are you good? Kind of unclear to me if these fish are actually alive. Like, they're moving, but they don't really look like they're swimming. Obviously, their facial expression, a bit unnerving, but maybe I'm jumping to conclusions. Maybe they are alive. They're just, like, shocked. To be honest, I'm shocked, too. We're in the realm of mermaids. But which way am I supposed to go? We've got two signs. A choice must be made. With um, getting a good feeling from this direction, actually. So we're gonna do this. Has been a while since we've seen a mermaid. And also, I'm, like, quite hungry and dehydrated and possibly delirious. Is it possible that I might have imagined the mermaid? Actually, who cares about that? You know what I'm not imagining? This giant pile of treasure! Forget about my old ship. That octopus was getting on my nerves anyway. Look at all this gold. I could buy a new ship. I could buy ten ships. Oh, don't mind me. Almost got crushed by a treasure chest. It's just so full of gold. It makes it so heavy and dangerous. Wow, look at her glow. I wonder what's inside of here. <gasps> a gold key! What's it a key for? This giant gold lock seems like a pretty good candidate. I'll give it a try, but like, should I take some of that gold before we leave, or... No, maybe it's a test. These mermaids might be trying to tempt me. Have me swim through the room of gold and then see if I take anything, and I really hope they don't notice the pearls. Wow, that is a huge sea anemone. Did you know that sea anemones are actually carnivorous, which means they eat meat, they eat plankton, and even sometimes small fish. What a world. Okay, so what's that? Is it like a lobster? It's got some jellyfish friends and sea anemones, and I don't understand what's going on up there. I'm probably just going to avoid that. Might just head towards the next cavern. Like, maybe that's a perfectly nice giant lobster up there, but it's kind of scary looking. My brand new white unicorn coloring book is now available on Amazon. Follow the link in the description. Whoa, that was weird. What just took me out? Oh, no, there's barnacles, and they can shoot green stuff out of their little barnacle mouths. I'm not sure what that's supposed to be. I know the barnacles have legs, and the legs come out of their, like, feeding mouth, so possibly those barnacles are trying to eat me. That's the conclusion I've drawn. Lots of dangers down here in the mermaid realm. What's going on? Help! I've been trapped! It's my pink mermaid friend! What happened to you? Oh no, whoa, where did it go? Her cage has fallen into the deepest, darkest oceans. Who is responsible for this? Is it the sea and enemies? Is it the barnacles? Or is it that other mermaid? I'm gonna find out. Don't you worry, pink mermaid. I'm coming. I am starting to worry that I've inserted myself into some sort of mermaid beef. Like, if these mermaids are beefing, I don't really want to get involved. But also, you can't be locking people in cages. Not cool. Oh no, it's so sad. That cage is so small and she's trapped. Please, save me. All right, that's it. I have to intervene. Obviously, I don't have all the context, but something does not feel right about this situation. We need to help that mermaid. Ooh, a boat. How does that work when we are underwater? Don't ask questions. Wow, I don't even need to row. No oars, no motor, just vibes. What is that? <gasps> it's that other mermaid, the one who made me crash my ship. All right, if you voted that she was evil, I think that you might have been on the right side of history. I think I'm just going to ignore her because I need to concentrate on avoiding all of these eels and also picking a direction, and I guess it's this direction because I kind of didn't have a choice. Not sure what to do about this boat situation, though, because it looks like we're heading towards that giant red glowing donut, but, like, do I even want to go in there? I want to save the mermaid. Okay, I am getting sucked inside. Got it. Wonder where it's gonna spit me out, where will I land in? Huh. Okay. This looks a bit... different? I don't know what everyone else thinks, but in my opinion, the vibe is off in this section. Just feels like we've gotten like 50% more evil. Like the evil meter is spiking. Like when we were just hanging out with the crabs, that was like really low on the evil meter, like maybe like a 1. And then now, look at what we have here. Yeah, that's like, that's like an eight. Did you know that these are real fish? Like, those are based on real fish. Like, no joke, I'm so super serious right now. They live really, really deep in the ocean, and they're called anglerfish. And that, like, glowing ball at the end of their, like, weird head rod situation is a sack of glowing bacteria. These are just some of the ocean facts that you pick up when you are the captain of an octopus pirate ship. Because we sail for adventure, but we also sail for knowledge. All right, what's going on with the rescue mission here? And what on earth are those? Are those supposed to be like jellyfish? Or like poison octopi? I don't know what's going on there. If anyone knows, you can let me know in the comment section. I'm just gonna try to move past them as fast as possible. Do we think if I save the pink mermaid, she will let me keep the pearls? Maybe she'll be so grateful, she'll let me go ham in the treasure room. 
Obviously, that's not my only motivation. I would, of course, try to rescue her without the... What on earth are... <gasps> She's laughing at me. She's laughing while also giving me clear and helpful instructions. Bit of mixed messaging, but that's fine. Apparently, I need to find three shovels to clear the rocks, and that mermaid thinks that I can't do it, which is patently ridiculous because I have already found one shovel. That cackle was, like, pretty evil, right? Like, I don't want to be overly judgmental and base my opinion of someone based on a cackle alone. But when seen in context with the pink mermaid in the cage, I feel like that other mermaid is up to no good. And also, she's really underestimated my ability to find shovels. Like, if you didn't want me to find them, my gal, why did you leave them in plain sight? And also, why did you tell me that I need to clear the rocks? It's all, it's all a bit confusing to me. Why do I need three shovels anyway? I've only got one pair of hands. Nobody here that's going to help me. Guess I'll just start clearing these rocks by myself. That seems to be doing it. Oh, look, I've cleared the whole thing. Pink mermaid, can you hear me? I don't know if you're also able to do that siren song thing, but if you can hear me, start singing. Oh, whoa, what's going on here? Pick up bones to use ahead. Those are the biggest bones I have ever seen in my entire life. They must belong to like a whale or something. Not just any whale, a huge whale, like a blue whale. Wow, I think that this is their carcass. And I build a bony bridge? This is wild. I'm like inside of the whale. It's giving Jonah and the whale. Wild that they just left the carcass down here. I mean, I guess it would just naturally decompose at the bottom of the sea. All part of the cycle of nature, I guess. Does feel like the mermaids know how to live in harmony with nature, so that's pretty nice, good for them. Obviously still some room for improvement, because their society still appears to involve a bit of kidnapping. A little bit of locking people up in cages for no apparent reason. Wow, look at that gate. This looks really promising. Goodbye, whale. Majestic beast. King of the sea. Okay, Rip. Time to rescue a mermaid. Well, that's handy. I like how there's a lever for the gate. Does the building behind the gate kind of look like the evil mermaid's face? Better pull this lever, see if it actually works. Oh, the gate's lowering. All right, looks like we're going to be able to make it inside of Scary Face Castle. Not sure whether to be happy about that or not. I just feel like it's not a good sign when someone decides to build an enormous picture of their face in rock on the side of a castle. It's not giving, like, happy equal society, is it? It's giving, like, deranged dictator vibes. Like, look at this. This is not the project of a well mind. If this mermaid is not evil, at a bare minimum, she is, like, very self-centered. Anyway, put those thoughts aside for the moment because I believe it might be rescue time. Do I really have to, like, enter through her mouth? That's a design choice, I guess. Choices were made. All right, pink mermaid. Pink mermaid, can you hear me? I'm here to save ya. <gasps> it does say evil mermaid. I knew it. Oh, she's scary. She doesn't look like she's here to play. Why you beefing with me, gal? We just met. Throw her trident's back at her, please. All right, hot tip. Thank you. I got this. Miss me. And when you threw that trident, I bet you didn't think that I would throw it right back, did ya? Oh, whoa, that was close. Okay, don't relax for a single second. Just gotta concentrate on my throw. Another hit. Who's the queen of the sea now? This is your last chance, evil mermaid. You can lay down your trident and also give me access to the treasure room and I'll forget this little incident ever happened. No? Okay. Oh wow, she just eaten herself out the door. And my friend is free! Hello, it's me, the queen of the sea. So about that treasure, 